Hi everyone, uh, it's Laurel here, um, and um, today is day five of my 31-day uh, challenge, and um, I'm here today to tell you about a new featured artist. Um, I, I just wanted to say um, quickly, thank you so much for all of the comments and feedback that um, you all are leaving uh, for me over here on YouTube, um, but please follow the links to my blog because um, you can read all of the details and have um, a link to each artist's um, blog, their website, um, their YouTube channel, and so forth in, in one key place. And um, please make sure that you rate, um, that you become a follower on my blog, um, and that you subscribe. Um, I love to read your comments and... Um, it just makes this process um, a lot more enjoyable for me to, to get your feedback. So thank you so much. So without um, further ado, um, today's featured artist um, is a very talented young man. Um, and his, na his YouTube name is Card of My Eye. Um, and his real name is Drew. Um, he has a blog that is called um, ScrappyHappiness.com, um, his website, where all of his contact information is. Um, I, I found Drew, um, I, you know, I'm, I've been thinking back to where, when and where I first started following a lot of the artists, and some are very, you know, in the forefront of my mind because I've followed them for a long time. Um, in the case of Drew, um, unfortunately... Um, I, I started following him, you know, maybe four months ago, three, four months ago. Um, and I, I think that I got linked up with him and found him um, due to a card series he was doing. Um, nevertheless, he, he's a very, very talented young man. Um, I, I really encourage you to go over and, um, and check him out. He does... Um, like I said, card series, he sells kits on his blog, um, he does Ustream shows, um, he, he hosts swaps, he, he does uh, just incredible things. Um, and every time I watch a video of his, I find out a shortcut or a different way of thinking um, about, you know, how to make it easier and more enjoyable when I'm scrapbooking. Um, as I understand the, the way the story goes is... Um, maybe a few years ago, or maybe a year ago, and um, I hope Drew will, you know, log in and correct me. Um, he apparently saw a cricket expression being used and then received one for a gift, and then it was on. You know, since then he's been making many albums, and um, he made, he, I just recently um, saw him on a Ustream show where he used some graphic 45 paper once upon a springtime, and... Um, you know, just some really, really beautiful things lately. So you really need to um, check them out. And the kicker of it is, Drew is only 15 years old. And I find that just amazing um, to have that much talent and to, be, to have put that much out into the art community in such a short time. It's really remarkable. Um, I applaud him and um, all that he continues to do. He's a very, very creative person. And, um, you know, go check them out. I'll have all the links below. So I was thinking about something to make for Drew. Um, and I created this tag. Um, i try and hold it up. And I'm just going to go over um, what I utilized to create the tag. Um, and um, I've been trying very hard to utilize, um, you know, current products in my stash. Um, some things I include because they're my favorite things. Some things, you know, I try and tailor make them, you know, for the person. Um, but, you know, some of the images are just because I, I just really like them. So, this is the Frazzle Cat from Judith. Um, and Judith Stamps. And I just think it's adorable. Um... Everything else that I had as far as an image was, you know, really girly. So I, I you know, chose the little cat because um, 
my little cat that looks like this, he's not so little anymore, um, he's a guy, so I thought, okay, I'll, um, I'll stamp up a Getty image, and, and I, I colored it with uh, my Prismacolor uh, pencils, and then went ahead and blended it with um, my Gooby Gone. Um, I've done a couple of tutorials on that on my Ustream show, so, um, you know, if you have time on Sunday afternoons at 4 o'clock Eastern, um, I really wish you'd join us, because we have a, a wonderful time. Um, so to get back to the tag, the remainder of the tag is, this is cut um, from Stampin' Up! Very Vanilla Cardstock, and I embossed it with the Tim Holtz Collage Folder. Um, I kind of positioned this because I wanted the crown to appear so that, you know, the little image cat was wearing the crown, because, Drew, I think you're the king of... Uh, of doing, you know, the mini books. You just make it so easy and so wonderful. And so here's a little homage to you. Um, I, I went over the, um, the tag in two colors um, and in, of Distress Ink. This is Rusty Hinge, and this is uh, whatever the olive shade is called. Forgive me, I don't have it in front of me at this moment. Um, the edges are gone over in Vintage Photo. Then I took um, some coordinating um, Glimmer Mist. This is actually Glimmer Mist, not Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, in Coffee Shop, and they have an olive vine. And this is one of my doilies. Just, you know, a sprayed and heat set. A little bit of the Tim Holtz tissue tape. Um, this, this says, uh, Wish. Um, I am roses, flowers with a skeleton leaf, some of my favorite um, jute cord, and then from the odds and ends stamp set I stamped, sometimes fate and your dreams can collide on a ticket, and um, use some recollections bling, and some prima bling, and then this is some lace um, gifted to me by my great friend Julie, and at the top Guys, can you believe it? But I'm out of organdy ribbon. <laughs> I got to go to the store. But I um I just picked some like peach colored satin and some olive green colored satin ribbon and tied the top. Um, the reason for the um, the you know, all the Tim Holtz project is you know not only is it my favorite, but you know I I think uh, I think Drew you know really follows Tim Holtz very closely. Um, he has a picture of him on of them two of them together on his blog, and um, you know he could be the next Tim Holtz guys. I mean he's starting out, you know, just with such great skills that he is um, so willing to share. Um, so this is my little tribute tag to Drew. Um, I hope you enjoy it, and maybe they'll find a little spot in your art room. Um, you know, just something I made. So, in addition, so that's the created part of the gift. So, I was thinking about, okay, what would I like to put in Drew's rack? And he is the king of minis. Um, I've seen him make, you know, several different kinds. So, um, I have put together a mini kit for him. And I hope that uh, he enjoys it. So... The, to start off with, um, I have a bag here full of things. To start off with, um, I and Drew, when you get this, you'll see. But uh, this is just um, some of the Joann's medium weight chipboard, and it's a 12 by 12 sheet, and it's cut in half at six inches. That's just to make shipping a little bit easier on me. And then one additional six by 12. Um, I included. Some of my recollections, um, number 10 uh, business envelopes, so that way you could cut it down if you wanted to, and um, or fold them in half, or, or however you want to interpret them. Um, but these are kind of the pearl white. Um, you know, they take glimmer mist and, and sprays pretty well, but you can, I don't know, it's hard to see on the camera, but it is, they are kind of sparkly. They look, they look white, but they're kind of sparkly. So there's six of those, and the chipboard. And then in thinking about the paper collection that I want to use, um, 
you know, I love Graphic 45, but I gotta tell you, I love Kane and Company just as much. Um, this was a stack that I had, um, that I had two of, um, that I used and used and used and used. This is from the, um, it was a family heritage stack, but I just love the colors. So what I've done is um, I've shared my new stack with you, Drew, and again, I went and I cut down the pages. Um, so uh, you have one full sheet of paper um, out of 11 patterns. Um, I think this one's my favorite. I just love it. Um, and it is double-sided, so we'll flip through. And, oh, I just love it. I just love it. There are lots of browns. It looks very vintage. Like that pop of blue or red. I just think um, you could do so much with it. And then here's the backs. You know, I'm going kind of quick, guys, but... Um, there's a lot more to this kit, but I just wanted you guys to see the papers. I just think they're yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh my gosh, and I've been talking for 11 minutes, so i got to hurry up. Okay, so here's the remainder of the papers. Then inside, um, I'm also including um, some of my doilies, some autumn leaves rub-ons, um, in pewter. Um, this is um, an assemblage of different types of trims. There's some of my jute cording. There is some um, EK Success Martha Stewart ribbon and some lace. About, you know, a yard or so. This is some packs of um, some I Am Roses flowers in the very small size and the medium size. And then also there are some um, hydrangea leaves in the green. Um, I actually, you know, use them as leaves and in, and in like a mauve kind of color. Some pearls so in black because they're good for detail. Um, a strip of the Bow Bunny um, trim. Kind of looks like the Webster's pages. Um, a Martha Stewart permanent black dual tip marker. Um, I have lots of these and uh, they just they write so well on everything even paint. Um, a set of the um, ornament hooks in kind of the grunged up um, metal color. You could use these as like memo pins. A pouch of tags. There's uh, 12 in there in a very small size. Martha Stewart glue stick. Some of my vintage buttons from my collection. Um, these are all metal. And I just thought they, they look very cool as flower centers. And there's a couple different patterns in there. And for some ephemera, some of the mini bicycle um, rider back playing cards. So, Drew, keep on creating. Keep on doing what you do. Um, I, I can't thank you enough for all that you contribute to the community. Um, you know, I, if you're doing all of this at such a young age, I can't imagine what you're going to do in 10 years. So thanks so much, everyone, for watching. Please follow on my blog, comment, rate, and subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye.